In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create your own online store using BigCommerce. So if you're interested in building your own e-commerce platform, your own e-commerce store with BigCommerce, please keep watching this video till the end because I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that. I'm going to show you how you can create it with BigCommerce without coding, without any complicated stuff. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can open your store, how you can add a payment method to your BigCommerce store, how you can add products and how you can design it. So what you want to do first, go to BigCommerce.com and go to the top right and hit login right there. So now you want to hit get started down here because we are not having an account yet. And here we have to enter in our details. I'm going to do that right now and I'll get back to you when I'm done. So once you've filled in everything, you can hit create my store. And now it says your store is being created. So this may take a couple of moments till it's done. So yeah, we just have to wait. So there we go. Now we have to continue with this. Your big commerce store is ready. So now do you have any existing website? If you do hit yes, uh, I don't. So let's say we don't have an online store yet. What will you be selling? Just select what you want. Just for this video, I'm going to select, um, yes, I'm going to select sporting goods. What best describes how you currently sell your products? I'm not selling yet, but you can also do anything you want. Then hit finish. And now it's going to take a few moments again. And this brings you over to the place where we can start building our store. So if you're a beginner, this can look like, yeah, this can, this can look really um, overwhelming. It's, it's really difficult, maybe, maybe a little bit complicated, but I'll get you through it. Here we have the store performance. So if you have any visitors, conversions, orders, revenue, it will show up here. Here again, basically the same things and the total orders that you can view here with their address with all that information all that stuff so of course now it's all, all empty because we don't have anything but here are basically all the steps that you have to do first we have to add products uh, we have to set shipping accept cash on delivery or any other payment method and then set up our tax rates so that's what we have to do right now so let's go ahead and hit add products right here there we go and here we have the basic information of the products. Uh, so let's add a product name. Let's do red T-shirt, just as an example. Um, then SKU. So this is basically a code of the product. You don't really have to add this, but you can do, for example, if this is your first product, you can do 0001. Um, for a second product, you can do 0002 or just make something up that you like but it's not necessary if you fill in nothing it will make something up from there itself but yeah this is what you can do i always like to do zero 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 one two three etc product type so this is a physical product but if it's a digital product you can also add a link or to a download link if you want to sell a software for example a course or stuff like that but for now it's a physical product default price twenty dollars brand um yeah this doesn't really matter because common good that's what you want to do ofs of second form don't do that always use common for good here uh unless you're really using a brand but if you're doing drop shipping or stuff like that that's probably not the case weight you can just leave it mm. categories um so for me this is dutch i don't really know why um this is what you can add but we are going to add our own category so let's do the shirts here done and now we added the category boom uh, so if you just create a new big commerce account as i did it's going to make some products up so it's going to add some dummy products to show you how it looks so here are some dummy categories that that you just can ignore don't use it uh, so let's go over to the description so here we can add the description uh, this is a red t shirt blah 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 um just for this video i'm not going to dive deep into this you get the point this is just a description of this product that's what you can fill in here so here we have images and videos so we can add any video or image that we want in here so we can edit from url or upload an image so that's what i'm going to do right now you can hit upload and then select a file so for me i don't really have files with a with a, a t-shirt 
So I'm going going to select this product. Um, this is not the this is not a T-shirt. Um, yeah, I know, but just for this video to make it clear, um, I'm going to use this um, product identifier here. You can see, and the rest I would recommend you just to leave it blank. Pricing, default tax class, tax class. Um, I'm leaving it just like this as well. Um, with non-taxable products because that's just easier if you do want to use taxable products with default tax class shipping gift wrapping stuff like that for shop shipping you can do that but this is what i like to do if you want to select uh, if you want to set up custom uh, shipping you can do that right here as well um, and you can add the cost of the shipping here so let's get started here uh, product Op options we have also variants so as i said here this is a red t-shirt but let's say you have a t-shirt with different colors you can set it up here we can add variants and we can change the names so for example color make it red green and blue and then also set the um set the images to red to green to blue so every time someone hits the blue one they will automatically be redirected to the blue t-shirt and not the green or red one so that's really easy and what you can use as well. But for now, I'm going to skip this because I don't need a, um, a variant. But as you know, as you can see, it's this is really specific. If you compare this to Shopify, this is so you can dive deep into the products, into everything. You can customize it however you want. So it's really customizable and that's what I like about BigCommerce. When you start, it's complicated, but once you get used to it, it's really, really easy to use. So here's storefront, um, we can add keywords, sort order, stuff like that. Again, not going to dive deep into this because it isn't always relevant. You can add keywords as many as you want. So for example, yes, yeah, I said portable, affordable, blah, blah, blah. If they type that in onto your website, then your product will come up. So let's type in red. Whenever someone types in red, my product will come up. And that's just easier for the customer and it will help for customer retention. Um, condition, new, blah, 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 always new. Yeah, I'm going to sell new new products. Um, and yeah, this is basically it. So I'm not like, I'm not really adding weight because I don't like it and I don't think it's, it's needed. Um, but if you do, you can do that right here. It's very similar to Shopify or WooCommerce or stuff like that. Shipping details. We can do shipping, fixed shipping price or free shipping. So let's do a $5 shipping price, five euros actually. Uh, purchase ability, uh, online store, pre-orders, or cannot. So you can select cannot for if you have, um, if you sold out, stuff like that. But for this video, let's say it can be purchased. And now we have gift wrapping. Yeah, don't really use this. Um, don't allow. I always say don't allow. Um, yeah, so this is basically it. For the SEO on Google or YouTube, you can change this as well. And I think the SEO of BigCommerce, just the standard one is already good enough. So this is just red t-shirt, product URL will be red t-shirt, which is good. Um, this is basically what I always use. I don't really change something here. I always use thumbnail image. That's, that's good. If you don't use an image uh, that looks really, yeah, plain, doesn't look really good. So let's hit save. So I haven't added weight, always hit zero. I forgot it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and there we go, now we've added a product. So we can go back to a few products and this is the product we just created. And as you can see, as I said, we have a lot of demo products here that we can just remove by hitting all the boxes at the front. And then we can go ahead and hit this and boom, they're all gone. So we can go to products here, to our logo, and now we can, as you can see, we set up a product and let's get set to ship. That's what we want to do then. Uh, we have, because I live in the Netherlands, it's already set to Netherlands, default shipping rules. We can add a shipping zone. We can add a country or a custom zone. So let's select the country, um, United States. Submit. And we can start configuring. configuring. Let's say we want free shipping through the United States. We can select free shipping and hit submit. That's everything. Now we can set the shipping quote for FedEx, U UPS. Um, yeah, if you really want that to connect it, you can do it right here with U UPS, FedEx, 
I'm here going to hit done, never do that, because it doesn't really add anything. Um, yeah, so I've set it up for the United States. Let's do it for the Netherlands as well. And let's say we want a flat rate for the Netherlands. So for every, every time someone buys it, they have to pay $5 per order or per item. The two per item. Submit. And there we go. Now we set up the shipping. And we can also do some other things like um, advanced shipping rules with Shipper HQ. So this is really complicated. Um, you can add with tracking links, but I never use it because it's not really necessary. I think this in BigCommerce, to keep it simple, is already good enough. It's, it's really, yeah, it's good enough. Uh, so let's go back to, not to View Store, I'm sorry, to BigCommerce and go to Accept Cash on Delivery. We can hit Enable Payments. So let's enable the payments on our account. And in order to set up um, payments, because you probably don't want to use cash on delivery, I've never used that, you want to go to store setup and go to payments. And here we can see the payments here. Um, and there we go. Accept PayPal credit card. You can do it through PayPal or we can go for Stripe or for other like offline payment methods, digital wallets, for example, yeah, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Amazon Pay. It's all, you can all set it up here. That's really nice. I would recommend you to use Stripe. It's secure, easy to use, cheap, and I definitely recommend you that. You can always use PayPal as well uh, if you want that. So I'm going to hit get started on Stripe and here you want to hit connect with Stripe. So now I'm not going to dive deep into Stripe because I'm, I'm not going to set it up for this specific big commerce account, um, but it's very straightforward. Just follow these steps. It's really, really easy, nothing crazy, nothing complicated. If you don't have a Stripe account yet, you can create it in here as well. And it's automatically connected with BigCommerce once you've connected it. So that's really easy. For me, I'm going back. This was just to show you how you can do that. So let's go all the way back uh, to this. And let's go to the full one, which is set up the taxes. So you have to set up the taxes in order to get, of course, to uh, receive payments and to yeah just hold it on your big commerce account so recommended service here avatax valera you can use that if you want or set up your own tax rules that's what you can do as well here i'm not going to set it up here um, because for this account it's not really necessary and if you're just a small business just starting with drop shipping or something you don't really need this you can do it afterwards as well especially if you live in countries in the netherlands like me and even the united states so let's go to designing the website if we here go to uh, big commerce again here we can go to our website by hitting view store over here and this is it this is how it looks now looks like right now and for me this is in dutch but this is how it looks we can go ahead and design in the page builder and here we can start designing our website and changing it however we want and this again is really uh, complex you can change this however you want it's really um, customizable and this is the bar and this is the way you can edit it so we can drag and drop stuff like uh, we can change this layout change the fonts change buttons and html codes it's really easy so here we have some layers header bottom header bottom header below menu um team styles so here are the styles uh light or bold and i really like dark team as well and there we go uh global we can change the banner background which is now this but we can change this for example to this um there we go page background that's just what we just changed uh we can change the font what i like to do as well Change it to, for example, Carla. We can change, there we go, it's changing. Make it smaller, change the color. Um, I'm just doing something right now, like that made no sense, but this is just to show you where everything is. We have the header and the footer. If you don't know what it is, this is the header, this is the footer. You can easily customize it in here. Header background, logo, you can add it in here. Here we have the products. As you can see, show product sale, uh, top left, diagonal, burst none um, and again this is really customizable however you want here we can edit everything so this is super easy to do and yeah again if you're just starting out it can be complicated but still i'm sure you can get it um the basic tools layout we can put it in here for example 
and now we can drop a widget. We can make three, two columns. Let's make only one uh, layout background, layout border, but let's add a widget. So let's go back and we can put an image in this. So here, image, and this is the image. So yeah, make it a bit smaller. There we go. So this sometimes has to load a quite long time. We can change the alignment. So again, this doesn't look good, but this is just to show you how you can do it. So this is what you can do with, with Big Commerce. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, and see you next time. Have a good day.